Hi, I'm Steve Kaplan for Creative Pro, and in this video I'm going to show you how to add a border to a photograph. So here's our family snapshot, and it looks very much like a digital image, and not like a holiday snap as taken by a conventional camera. Let's fix it. First of all, double-click the background to turn it into a regular layer. Now I use Free Transform to shrink it down, and if you hold the Alt key, then you can shrink it from the middle. And hit Enter to apply that. And we're going to add a border to this using the Stroke effect. So go to Layer, Layer Style, and choose Stroke. Make sure your colour is set to white or slightly off-white for a more authentic look, and click OK. Now the default is for this to appear inside your image, but of course we're losing some of the image on the edges. If we change the position to outside, well that looks better, but the corners are now rounded. And that's not going to look like a real photograph. So leave the position set to inside, and change the size until you get the size of border that you want. For a better appearance, we can add a drop shadow to this. Don't make it too strong, but make it large enough so it shows up slightly above and to the left of your frame as well, and that'll make the white stand out better. Now to fix that problem of the stroke being inside your image. Duplicate the layer, and turn off the effects. Now go to the background image. Let's go into Free Transform again and make it bigger, again holding Option or Alt to scale from the middle. And we're making it larger just so we can see the edges of the border and not the original image beneath it. Now if your photo is in landscape mode, you're going to get wider borders on the edges than top and bottom. So again, Hold the Option or Alt key to scale from the middle, but this time add the Shift key so we can scale this disproportionately. And now we can make it taller until we get the correct borders both above and the sides of our image. And hit Enter to apply it. And there is our photograph now looking like a proper printed photograph with a drop shadow. Now, if you're not bothered about the drop shadow, then there is a quicker way of doing this. Let's revert our image back to the original, and we'll try a different approach. This time, we're going to go to Image and Canvas Size. Now, when we did this before, we added a 30 pixel stroke, more or less, to give us our border effect. So let's make sure that our size is showing pixels and not inches or centimeters, and let's add 30 pixels each side. And that means that our 1920 becomes 1980 when we add 60 pixels around it, and our 1281 in this case becomes 1341. We can choose our canvas extension color, and again let's go for a slightly off-white. When we click OK, Let's fit in the window, and there is our very simply applied white border around this image. Now the only problem with this approach is that you have to guess on the size of the border. You can't just do it visually as we did before. And that might mean a bit of trial and error going backwards and forwards and trying different border sizes when you increase your canvas until you get exactly the effect you want. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.